Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm starting to try and do a new form of videos where when I'm explaining something, we're looking at the table and me talking to the camera. Still not gonna show my face, just you know, a little bit of operational security. YouTube knows who I am. I did uh, verify my account, so um, any links that I post, websites that I can send you guys to, uh, you can trust that I am uh, being legitimate. Just let me know if you guys like this uh, new style of videos. Uh, I want to make content that you guys enjoy watching. So uh, let me know in the comments down below. Let's start a, a dialogue. I hope that you enjoy this video. Today I'm going to show you uh, a simple way to introduce communications into your team, your own kit, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to show you two options. So here's your, you know, generic cheap pair of Perfect. hearing protection, electronic hearing protection. That's the important part. It needs to be electronic. It can be these or it can be the walkers and it should work the same way. So you get your hearing protection, right? Well, then you're also going to need comms. Uh, most people go with these, okay? Thing. It's cheap, uh, yes it's Chinese, but it works, and with what comes with it, that's what we're going to start with. Alright, so what comes in the box, obviously the charger, the radio, the antenna. Alright, so you get your radio, and you get a cheap piece of junk, push to talk, and an earpiece, okay? So, Without changing anything, you can legit take this earpiece and push to talk, attach it to your, your kit where it makes sense, plug in the Kenwood style plug-in, and this will you know hook into so that you can hear and talk through the mic. Plug all that in. And you could simply put this in your ear and then put your hearing protection on over that. As long as you've got this mic probably about here-ish on your kit, your team will be able to hear you. The downsides are this earpiece is very cheap, very uncomfortable, doesn't sound great, uh, doesn't work great. And this push to talk is very cheap and chintzy as well. So, with a simple, cheap upgrade, you can get a much more robust push to talk and mic, okay? And a much more universal, uh, known around the world earpiece. And you can still run this underneath your hearing protection and it will work. Now, if you want, I'm going to show you how to upgrade this little cheap thing right here to plug in to the audio port right here so that you hear everything in both sides, hearing protection and your communications. It will all come in at the same time to both ears and you're going to enjoy that a lot better than the current setup. But if you need to get something going, this will work in conjunction with the hearing protection. So what you're going to want to do is this cable right here. Make sure you know the difference. You do not want to cut the one that has your Kenwood style plug in. Okay, isolate that, get it out of the way. You want to cut on this cable. This is the one that supplies the audio, the driver that is inside here and sends it up this air tube to your ear. Okay. Now, if you want to still keep this and be able to use it, make sure you give yourself uh, a good couple inches and cut it there. Okay. The, the lines in this to the other piece that you get with your headset. So that's, this is what that cable looks like. And it comes with most electronic hearing protection so that you can use your phone 
while you're at the shooting range. So you're gonna take this piece and you can measure this to where it makes sense on your kit, uh, but I'm just going to line it back up to what I cut off and cut it at that point. So I'm leaving myself to two to three inches on the original cable. I'm just gonna cut both of them right there. All right, that simple. So now you can still use this piece if you solder it back into something. And now you've got your tip that plugs in to the back of here. Just like that. So now what we're gonna do is solder this piece to the end of that. All right. So I've got my soldering iron and my solder. This is a, a little bit more of a fancy one, but um, you can get the cheap one that you can find at Walmart or anywhere else. And the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, strip the ends of the cable so that you can expose the So now you can see the exposed cable at the end there. And same with the other one. Now comes the fun part of isolating all of the cables and making sure that you have them connected in the right orientation. If you've never soldered before, you need to do what they call tinning the tip of your solder on iron. This is what we want to see. Silver staying on the tip of the solder iron, okay? Now let's go ahead and start connecting the wires that we have here. And before I solder, I am going to do a listen test to make sure the right lines are connected. The Kenwood connector, turn on the radio. We're gonna hit the button up top here. And that should be sending audio. So let's test it. Seems to be Seems to be a connection problem right now. It's only coming out one side, so I'm gonna see if I can't fix that. All right, so now I do have it coming out of both sides. Oh, let me turn that down a little bit. So I got it to come out of both sides. So this is how to do that correctly. So what I did wrong the first time was I attached, the, uh, one cable has three wires, one cable has two. So you're gonna to wanna to match your red and green cables from both cables. They're the extra cable that should just be copper by itself. Just move that out the way. We're going to snip that away, uh, separate it. You only want the, the two cable connection, okay? If you do it that way, you should have audio on both sides. Now we're gonna solder it so that it is a, a good marriage connection. All right, that's how they should look, nice and silver, and nothing else connecting. I'm not gonna go through uh, wasting time showing you how to separate out these cables and glue it all down. That part is pretty straightforward and simple. Just make sure that these two cables stay separate and everything is isolated and waterproof. All right, so the only thing that you really don't get with this setup is the cool guy boom mic that comes around in front of your mouth. But you don't really need that. Like I said before, as long as this is clipped up high on your plate carrier, you will be able to talk through it and your team will be able to hear you. That being said, this project is basically done. Just make sure to seal that up really good. And now you've got yourself a cheap, communications setup
that you didn't have to spend 60 to $80 on. And the same process you saw me do here, you can do with what comes with the Baofeng radio. Um, this was just a slightly more robust cable. Um, the links to all of these things that I'm using here, uh, I will put in the description down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. See you next time.